What's going on, everybody? Josh Wilson, and this is the Big Dog Podcast. In here for a quick episode this morning. I mean it. This is going to be like the second, third one in a row that I've said quick, and it's going to be quick. What do you think, Jonathan? You believe me? Yeah, I believe you this All time. All right, you believe me this time. Yesterday, um, <laughs> we recorded yesterday, and I was like, hey, man, let me know when we get to 40 minutes. We had an awesome guest in. I can't wait for you guys to hear from him. Um, <laughs> we went an hour easy, didn't we? Uh, yeah, it ended up being like an hour, 10 minutes, something like That's that. That's got to be the longest one. Is that longer than Fowler's? Uh, longer? No, I think Fowler's might have been the longest. That's not shocking by any no, means. not at all. Fowler can talk. We love you, Josh. Anyway, guys, um, you know, a couple episodes back, I introduced to you, um, and it might actually be the episode before this. I don't know how the magic happens on the back end, the alignment. Um, but we introduced you to something called the G code. And this is something that I was introduced to in early 2020, um, about the, well, towards the end of the first quarter. You know, when COVID was kind of kicking off and I joined a new coaching group called Apex, shout out to Ryan Stuman. a lot of love to you for starting that group and putting it together, man. Appreciate you so much. Um, but he, he wrote this book, Ryan did called the G code. If you're on YouTube, I'm showing the camera right now. Um, and the G code is made up of really four things. It's made up of gratitude, which I spoke about in a previous episode, genetics that we'll talk about today your grind work and your group all right and so today i'm going to talk about the genetics part of it and the genetics part you know is really focused on hey did you move your body today did you exercise um did you stick to a diet and you know it's not that there's a diet to stick to there's not necessarily a workout plan you know that you, that you've got to do it's just did you move your body did you do something and are you paying attention to what you're eating? Because, right, like the quick, you know, 30-day fix for everybody, Jonathan, doesn't work for everybody. You know, in my life, you know, I'm a guy who's been heavy most of my life, and I've tried all the things. And all the things worked for a moment um, and then stopped working, <laughs> you know, when we, were, when we were done with it. So, you know, because it's just a, it's a quick fix deal that that people mess with and, and do. So... This isn't telling you specifically what to do. It's just telling you to do something and track it and pay attention to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it definitely does. But I came in with the assumption that genetics meant what you were born with. And I was happy because I'm pretty cute. Thought I had that step. Well, covered. look, hey, I mean, the, the thing is, um, <laughs> it does. But because you, you don't, you can't control. Well, you can control your genetics to a certain extent, right? Like, and that's why there isn't like set diets. That's why there isn't set workouts. It's saying you need to do something because for what you to do is going to be better than what I need to do for my genetics, right? So you got to find what works for you, what you can stick to, what you can maintain. And I talked about the app in the, in the gratitude uh, episode, you know, the G code app, it's free and you can check it out. You know, when you download it and you get logged in, you know, you put in there, you're like, all right, the first thing I do in the morning, I put in or I write down in my book, you know, what are five things you're grateful for? Then it asks you, did you work out today? Did you stick to your diet? You know, did you have any wins today? That's what we're going to talk about in the next episode when we're talking about the grind. And so this app here, or you can write it down, keep it in notes, whatever. I do both. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. And you get points for it. So if you're competitive, right, it's like tallying these points and it's building them up, building up, building up. So you feel like you're winning. And not only are you doing these things, like when we talked about the gratitude episode, it's like, I'm, I'm starting my day off with what are five things that I'm thankful for? What am I grateful for? That's a mindset shift. You know, I'm putting in, hey, I did exercise today. Maybe it was just a walk that day. Maybe you got throwing some weights. Maybe you got on the bike. Maybe, it, you know, it could be a walk with your family. It could be anything. But did you exercise? Did you move your body? You know, and did you stick to a diet? Could have been anything. Did I just not have Chick-fil-A for the third time today? Right? Like, Hey, all right. I didn't, you know, third time today or third time <laughs> no, this week. No, not in one day. Jeez Louise. But like, Oh, okay. I grabbed Chick-fil-A. Did I choose the grilled chicken over, you know, a 12 count and a spicy chicken? All right. We want to make sandwich. our lives better. Not sacrilege. <laughs> that's what that is. Look, Logan's talking about how the Bojangles sandwich is the best one that's out there. It is. I just had it for the first time. It was pretty damn tasty. I don't, my thing is, is Chick-fil-A is like the Chipotle of chicken. It's like, is Chipotle pretty decent Mexican food? Yeah, but is it the best? No, it's just the fastest and the most universally standard now, That's good, because they had the standard and yeah. the experience. 
It's a good experience, too. You don't really have a bad experience if you go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, but Bojangles is where the soul is. Bojangles, the spicy Supreme's tenders. Look, guys, this does not fall into the diet you should be eating, clearly. We're telling you um, what to avoid. Yeah, we're telling you what to avoid. It keeps the line shorter for me. But, um, yeah, so the G-code makes up these four things that you focus on daily. And you create these habits that you fall into. And, you know, it, if you're competitive by nature, you're a numbers person, you almost force yourself into like, damn, I don't want to answer this no. I want to answer yes. And if I don't answer both these yes, I'm not getting the points. So it's just kind of an easy little life hack to get you dialed in and more focused on prioritizing your health and well-being, right? Yeah, and also I think it's really huge um, that the G-Code app specifically focuses on accountability because a lot of 100%. people don't have that accountability partner. Like what do people always say? It's easier to work out. If you have a workout right. buddy, yeah. well, not everybody has that because not everybody right. is willing to work you out. You got somebody meeting you at the gym, though. The odds of you not showing up are slim. Yep. Right? So here, you know, this, the, the G-Code, and then there's a community online, too, Facebook group you could be a part of and, and whatnot. But it, it's just a, it's a very simple life hack that at the end of the day gets you dialed in, gets you focused, gets clarity, and you're just generally going to feel better. There's nothing difficult to it. It's not science. It's just making a decision. Super yeah. simple. I'm going to have to give that a try because I've tried other stuff like the Fitbit apps and things of that nature. And it's yeah. just like a metric keeping app. But this sounds like a, a holistic lifestyle change. For sure. The whole thing is. And download it. Download it today. And we'll start on, on every Monday morning. We'll text each other. And we'll see what our scores are from the previous week. Sounds That's good. what we'll start doing. That's easy. And, guys, you should do that too. You should talk to your family. Talk to your friends about it. Download it and check it out. And actually what I'm going to do Anybody who shoots an email in big dog podcast, you know, just put in the subject G code and in the email, your name and address, and I'll send you a copy of the book to check out. Yeah, maybe so, if we get enough people, we start the big dog podcast G code leaderboards. Well, there we Oh yeah. We can make it competitive. We can make it very competitive. I like that. I'm about that for sure. So shoot an email to big dog podcast at Josh Wilson dot dog, uh, subject G code. And in the email, your name and address, We'll get a book out to you. I don't care how many y'all email. We'll get the books out to you so and get you set up. So this week is the genetics. Last week we talked about gratitude. This week we talked about genetics. Did you work, move your body today? Did you eat well? You're just tracking it. It's a simple, simple thing to help manage your day, create that focus. Next week we're going to be talking about the grind. Work. Got to have it. Got to do it. You got to keep the lights on, Jonathan. Yep. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon.